This guy kept walking through me video in the gym. Like, a lot. Me being uncomfortable. Like Helu. Side eye. Throw weights. When is this nonsense going to end? I really don't understand why people get so upset and then they post this acting as if they're a victim because of it. You literally get so upset that you stop and start your set. You give that man a dirty look. You say that he makes you uncomfortable and then you even throw your weights at the end? Seriously? All because of what? Because you're filming in a walkway that that man's trying to use to go put his weights back, which is what he's supposed to do? And let me ask you this. Where exactly do you want that man to walk? Because in front of you is a gym bag and an empty barbell. Behind you is another barbell with plates on it. Should he have to try to climb over that stuff, trip and fall, hurt himself, all for the sake of your video? And then you put in the caption that this is girly relatable, as if it has anything to do with gender, that that man walked through your video because you're a woman. I'm sorry, but it's not his job or anybody's job to care about you filming at the gym. If you want to film somewhere where nobody will walk through your video, build a home gym. Train there. Until then, you need to do better. Mind your own business. Gender-exclusive spaces have long been a subject of debate, with men's spaces often facing criticism for limiting women's access, while women-only spaces encounter less resistance. This reflects a double standard in gender politics, highlighting entrenched biases that shape societal attitudes. Historically, male exclusive spaces existed without significant scrutiny until women began seeking entry into traditionally male domains. Controversies emerged, such as protests against all male establishments like salons, possibly triggered by the integration of gym classes, prompting a desire for exclusive spaces. The COVID-19 pandemic saw a surge in home gyms, with men seeking personal spaces away from potential intrusions, contributing to increased sales of home fitness equipment. The global home fitness market, valued at USD 12 billion in 2022, is expected to reach approximately USD 19 billion by 2032, driven by rising health consciousness. Men's preference for home gyms stems from a desire for peace and solitude, avoiding discomfort in shared spaces where interactions with women might lead to misunderstandings or accusations of inappropriate behavior. Technological advancements in home fitness equipment have made workouts more effective and engaging, further fueling the trend. The absence of men-only gyms is often attributed to opposition from feminists and their allies, who view such spaces as exclusionary and potentially discriminatory. Feminist critiques argue that men no longer have the right to segregate themselves, framing attempts to establish men-only spaces as misogynistic and subject to potential legal action. Reports suggest that many men have stopped going to gyms due to perceived harassment or concerns about being implicated in the Me Too movement leading to financial challenges for gyms and closures. Critics argue that the emphasis on accommodating Me Too sentiments has negatively impacted the gym industry, making it unprofitable. Some advocate for the establishment of men-only gyms as a response to alleged impolite behavior by women in co-ed gym environments. Despite the existence of women-only spaces, the notion of men-only venues faces resistance due to concerns of promoting misogyny and reinforcing gender divides. In today's gym culture, Encounters with individuals recording themselves for social media and dating platforms have become commonplace. With some men feeling uncomfortable navigating shared spaces, instances where men are perceived as intruding on women's workouts, leading to accusations of misconduct, further complicate gym dynamics. Critics argue that societal attitudes increasingly favor those perceived as weak and entitled, often at the expense of men's rights. The absence of men-only spaces, including gyms, is attributed to the push for equality by modern feminism, which is seen as granting privileges to women without similar scrutiny. Men's rights advocates argue that women leverage victimhood to secure advantages, resulting in the lack of exclusive spaces for men. This perspective paints a picture of a society where the concept of equality tends to benefit women more, perpetuating a disconcerting societal landscape. Proposed solutions to address concerns in gyms include differentiating between influencer and non-influencer gyms and implementing time constraints on recording equipment. The establishment of exclusive male-only gyms is seen as a potential solution to provide men with a conducive environment for self-improvement and solitude. These gyms could be marketed as spaces where men can focus on their fitness goals without interruptions or discomfort. The discussion surrounding gender-exclusive spaces in gyms illuminates the complexities and nuances inherent in contemporary gender politics.
the disparity in societal attitudes toward men's and women's spaces underscores deeply ingrained biases and double standards that continue to shape perceptions and behaviors. Male exclusive spaces were common and faced minimal scrutiny. The landscape has evolved with the increasing demand for gender inclusivity and equality. The integration of women into traditionally male domains has prompted debates over the necessity and legitimacy of men only spaces, leading to tensions and resistance from various quarters particularly within feminist circles. The rise of home gyms amid the COVID-19 pandemic highlights a broader trend toward seeking personal spaces for fitness and self-improvement, driven by factors such as convenience, privacy, and comfort. The absence of men-only gyms in public settings reflects broader societal shifts and challenges surrounding gender norms, power dynamics, and the perception of victimhood. Critics argue that the reluctance to establish men-only spaces stems from concerns about reinforcing gender divides and perpetuating misogyny, while proponents advocate for the recognition of men's rights to privacy, autonomy, and self-expression. The ongoing discourse underscores the need for nuanced and inclusive approaches to address the diverse needs and preferences of individuals across the gender spectrum. Moving forward, finding a balance between promoting gender equality and respecting individual rights will be crucial in navigating the complexities of gender exclusive spaces in gyms and beyond embracing diversity fostering open dialogue and challenging ingrained stereotypes are essential steps toward creating more inclusive and equitable environments where all individuals can thrive and pursue their fitness goals free from discrimination or judgment and that concludes today's discussion on megtow voice don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on future videos. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next video.